gonna sit myself back down put my headset back on all right boys let me just slightly move my mic over some we in there bada boom bada boom all right where we last left off last we have to go kill some demon guy because he screwed over a bunch of people I wasn't gonna pay Twitch a full five dollars. That can give me nearly two whoppers. Shit, I wouldn't even be like I wouldn't even be subscribed to me. Hell, if you can get two whoppers for that much. I don't know what's in this place. Oh, that's right, this is the bar. This is the le le pub. I don't want to speak to these losers. What's upstairs? How am I going to get to that? Oh, never mind. All right. Now we're about to go Dora the Explorer and out in this open ish world. Oh, all right. Never mind. Cut off. Cut off right at the door. A back alley with a treasured chest. Uh oh. An amber fragment. No, but it, but true shit, Jazz. Thank you for subscribing to me for as long as you have. Hey, what the hell is this? Yes, open it. What's in there? I found a cat and some square glasses. I can't I can't get past how good she looks. No, but it's like it is truly awesome. Uh, you are one of my greatest friends in the world. I'm putting glasses on her. Someone sent me some bits. Leo with the bits. Yo, my man, thank you. Thank you very much, man. Putting glasses on him, too. I appreciate... Dude, I really appreciate your generosity, man. Like, I know you didn't have to do that, man. I Honestly, I'm just happy with you being in the stream, you know? But my man's went and just dropped a hundred bits for the boy. Thank you. Oh, so grateful. I completely, like, found this by accident. Oh, but the cat souls. Yoink. Oh, shit. Ooh, a blood bl Wait a minute, hold up. A blood blade. Ah, okay. But I actually mastered this weapon at. Where's my cool badge at? I, I don't know. Oh, okay, you got it. Alright, cool. There you go. The blood blade. They gave me my level 1 weapon, man. But look at that. It has better attack, but... Yo, I'm all about that defense. Because defense wins championships. Boom, what up? Only the king of games can summon Exodia. But Exodia is banned. What, you think the king of games gives a fuck about that? Nah. Nah. What a beautiful ship. Isn't she? She transports Flamestone and Sulfur to the capital in Midgand. Have you heard of Flamestone? It's this new explosive material the Abbey developed. Thanks to their discovery, we can make some really powerful new cannons and explosives. Explosives. Sounds dangerous. It is dangerous, but it's also necessary. Not only are there demons about, but we've humans to contend with too. 
with pirates and bandits in ever increasing numbers. On the bright side, with a higher demand for Flamestone, Hellebees is prospering like never before. Flamestone is the only reason our little snowbound city is thriving. A keelhaul to anyone who says otherwise. So this ship goes to the capital. If I asked, could you take us with you? Nope, not happening. The guild ordered a total suspension of activity. We can't lift anchor. Besides, any ship carrying precious ores has an exorcist on board for security. You need the Abbey's permission. Sounds like they keep a tight lid on things. Yeah, I guess. But the Abbey makes the rules, so what are you gonna do? Without the Abbey, humanity would be dead in the water. A keelhaul to anyone that says otherwise. Gotta travel to this dude's home village, though. Open that already. Enter, I'll enter that in a second. Oh, another chest. Whoa, what's up? Fire ring. Alright, so what's in here? Oh, this is the storage room. Ah, oh, that's right. Okay. Well, how am I... How am I gonna go to this man's home village? When all the other places have been locked off. I wonder if staying at an inn will help me progress. Maybe, here's the hoping. Hey. Welcome, cold out there, isn't it? Come on and rest up for a while, won't you? That was a good session, if I do say so myself. Tomorrow's drill will be even faster. I thought he was being a crazy demon again, but come to think of it, this is just him being him. Jacketless outfit. Uh oh. There's a room in here. Go in, look, I've done everything I needed to in here. something growing all the way out here that is one gutsy flower it's a princessia that's quite an elegant name my sister loved them i see thank you and everybody's in position i take it yes preparations are underway now we're all looking forward to it not much longer Keep up the good work. Of course. If anyone can succeed, it's you, sir. Time is nigh, Silica. Time to do what needs to be done. For you, for him, for everyone. Uh. Is something the matter, Velvet? No, I, uh, I just didn't want to disturb you. Perish the thought. I'm not disturbing anyone. She's your sister, too. I know, I just figured that, well, she loved you the most out of all of us. And that, uh, you also loved her more than anyone else, so... Velvet, 
There's no ranking among family. Seneca, Lafisit, you, you're all very important to me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's almost the anniversary of her death. I better go to the Cape and pick her up in Sicilia. That's a good idea. I'm sure that would make her happy. Yes. I really hope it does. That's Nick Artorius. They say flowers have different meanings and stuff, right? Any idea what Princessia signify? Betrayal. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> oh? Oops. <laughs> yeah, I know you got beef. You have beef as well. I don't blame you for wanting to kill me, but what I lack is the patience. You'll be rushed on my Not even worth my time. I'm getting hella equipment. I see a village. Let's go ask around. Fast as fuck, boy. Thank goodness I was here. But any further attacks and an exorcist. Is that dial she slew? No. It wasn't a lizard demon. Are you crying? It's just... everything that's going on. Demons run rampant in the Outlands, and yet the Abbey has explicitly chosen not to come to their aid. It's true we haven't the forces to be everywhere at once, and the people of the Outlands refuse to obey the Abbey's rules. It's a heartless decision, I know, but it follows from the Abbey's perfect logic and principle. Why make excuses to me? I'm not making... My name is Eleanor Hume. I am a Praetor patrolling for the Abbey. What is your business here? We heard there was a murderous demon in this town who fled from Helavis. The shipping guild incident, yes. I've been looking into it, but I haven't found any clues yet. Mm. Worry not. We will track down that foul demon and put it to the sword. Did the exorcist lady go away? Yeah, she's gone. Oh, good. I didn't want us to get eaten. Eaten? I mean, I don't know anything about a demon. It's fine, you can tell me. I'll keep it a secret, I promise. There's a lizard demon in a cave to the north. He said he'd eat the whole village up if I told anyone. I'll give you these. Don't tell anybody, alright? Aw, oh, yeah. Motherfucking apples, nigga. Cave to the north. Hmm. Gotta say, folks here really don't trust the exorcists, do they? <laughs> huh. This is actually rather good. What's wrong? A worm? Nothing. Can't taste a thing. Uh. Hmm? That's how that was actually we learned what we need to. Let's look for that cave. That woman said she was patrolling for the Abbey. What's that mean exactly? They're handpicked agents who travel the kingdom gauging the Abbey's success in the demon fight. They also make sure the other exorcists are conducting themselves properly. I suppose you could liken them to military police. Since the Abbey imposes so many rules on the populace, they want to show they're above board. But if they need to police themselves, isn't that as good as announcing corruption in the ranks? 
Eh, some would say it's more honest this way. Idealism alone won't change the world. Maybe that's why our determined little exorcist was crying. I bet you're right. That does fit the picture. Although it's best not to take a woman's tears at face value. Huh? Just some common wisdom. Yeah, I'm just gonna step all over your crops, fam. Also, hi. This village seems much more run down than hell of these was. This is where the Abbey sends its malcontents. Don't conform or accept the Abbey's rules or commit a crime, and you'll end up here with the rest of the refuse. And I take it the Abbey doesn't care what happens to this place. So, disrupt their precious order, and you get banished? Exactly. I'm sure they'd say it's all part of their notion of reason. Oh, yeah. That exorcist Eleanor said something like that. After the advent, the exorcist showed up to quell the tide of demons and to restore the human world. But demon blight keeps spreading, and the only places they can keep safe are a few of the bigger cities. There aren't enough exorcists to protect everyone. And the going's tough. Cut off any excess baggage. It's the rational thing to do. I suppose so. But it's too heartless. And that right there, that's the Abbey for you. Humans aren't livestock, and we're not machines either. That's why some of us here, myself included, chose to live here of our own accord. Hmm. Guess there are all types of humans out there. The important takeaway here is that exorcists are neither invincible nor infallible. Yoink. Weapon dealer. All right, let's see what you get. And apples with no taste. Yeah, but not not much pertaining in the line of the story. But it's not even in like you've seen this before, bro. Four hundred and fifty gold, baby. Hey, yak. That's one fine yak you've got there. What an adorable face. You. Might not want to lean in too close. Hmm? Why? <laughs> that is nasty. That's why. Yaks ruminate the food they eat while they digest it. Their burps are one of the foulest things you'll ever smell. Same as cows and goats. Everyone who's raised livestock knows that. Uh -huh. I think that point's been driven home. That's a smell I never want to ruminate on myself. Then I'm gonna go up here. There's probably some bonus stuff up here. Oh, like an herb. And a diamond chest. Twin charm. What you got for me? Yeah, that's right. Fork it over, asshole. Oh. Well, I've been finessed. There we go. Then to the north we go. First, I'm gonna grab this little shiny thing over here. Look at the adorable little puppy standing guard. Wait, my granddaughter said she spoke. What? She snitch. Hey, hold up! It's not like we threatened her or anything. Don't worry, I know. I gather you intend to continue your travels. Yes. Then take this. It's nothing fancy, but hopefully it helps. Cooking has been added to the menu. Try opening it now. Eating dishes restores the party's HP and provides bonus effects in the next battle. The cooking menu offers three options. But fuck sluts go nuts. No, that's not it. What's up, Afro? Auto cook lets you choose a dish to cook immediately after battle. Cook and eat lets you immediately cook and eat a single dish. Skills lets you check the cooking skills you have learned so far. Let's start off by checking cook, selecting cook and eat. You can immediately cook addition of activates it effects. On the left is the list of recipes you've learned. On the right is information on each recipe. They've I've done it. I've come up with a new recipe. I'm sorry, I had to. 
The ingredients required to cook the currently selected recipe are shown in the lower right. If you have the required ingredients, you can create the dish. Try cooking up some pickle boar sausage. Select it from the recipe list now. Velvet's cooking skills. Select the cook. Next, choose the character who will cook the dish and the cooking skill you want them to use. Each character has different cooking skills. For now, let's select uh, Velvet's stun negative 10. Eat this meal. We're eating it. Food's ready. It's nothing special. The dish is complete. You will now benefit from its effects, and the character you chose to cook the dish will receive cooking experience. Once a character earns enough cooking experience, their cooking level will go up, which will grant them additional cooking skills. Each character's cooking level is displayed on the upper right corner of the screen. Please select. Next, we will explore the auto cook option. Please select it from the menu below. Each dish's effect only lasts for one battle. That means you won't benefit from addition any subsequent battles. Auto cook allows you to have your party automatically cook a dish after each battle. However, please note that you still need the required ingredients. the spot hey velvet can I ask you a question you can do whatever you want but just because you ask doesn't mean you're getting an answer so about that whole apple thing you can't taste anything not entirely I can taste blood nothing else nothing and I don't think I can feel full either you don't think you talk like you've never had a good meal before. I haven't. Not normal food, at least. Not since I became a demon. So, what have you been eating? Please. You were in that prison with me. I'm sorry. Forget it. This is just what I am now. As long as I have a recipe, I can still cook. And now I don't even have to worry about how it tastes. I suppose. Food keeps my strength up. That's all I care about. This is saddening. Oh yeah, the guy at that weapon shop gave me some booze for the trip. I nearly forgot about it. You really think it's a good idea to drink when we've got demons to fight? A little drink will warm me up. I thought you couldn't feel the cold. That's true, I suppose. Well, I'm not drinking it anyway. I'm using it for something. Like what? Got some wounds to clean? That's one use for it, sure. But I've got something more practical in mind. By pouring it on the pegs that hold the blade and hilt together, the wood will swell and hold everything firmly in place in battle. You've got such a one-track mind, I swear. That's just the kind of demon I am. Land of the Dancing White. Get ourselves a nice little save in, you know what I mean? I thought I can interact with that. We got tentacle monsters. We got centipedes. Don't want to exactly fight those things yet. I, I think we might be able to break this boulder. And people say I'm foolhardy. I'm serious. I think we can do it. Are we not demons? You have a point. Nice.
And away we go. Why are you running? You look strong, but why are you running? Are we ready for this? Level 10. Oh man, this music is legendary. But what level, what level are we? This music has never changed. That is awesome. <laughs> keep, keep changing targets is so chaos. That's Lee in a nutshell. I have him reduce numbers. Bats are getting in me. Call back up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh lord. Got him. I refuse to fall here. I wasn't that wasn't too too bad. I didn't die. I almost died. But I was able to pull it off. Don't waste my time. I unleashed all my power. Maybe I overdid it. The benefits, the benefits of exploring places. He just gonna let me walk past him? Yeah, he didn't want none. You're a fine swordsman. Not as far as I'm concerned. I still have a long way to go. What sort of demon are you? A yaksha. I'm a war demon. A war demon. Makes sense. And what about you? You're awfully peculiar. Even for a demon. I'm a Therian. Therian? That's a new one for me. What sort of demon is that? A monster that feeds on foes to gain power. I don't know much beyond that. Hmm. Huh. A woman who devours her enemies. I bet your demon type is... Hag. Am I right? What? Whoa. <laughs> You've got the death glares down at least. Wait, yeah, actually, he's high blue ranks. Yeah, it, hell yeah, he is. What sword style do you use? Who taught you? I'm self-taught. For being self-taught, you're really good. Your fundamentals are solid, too. But then you suddenly throw out these kicks and all these other moves. It's really unusual. Like I said, it's my own style. And what about you, huh? What's with those two swords? You say that big one is your life. Yet you never even draw it. It's best that I don't. Huh? Is that part of what you learned at House Rangetsu? Yeah, we pay our debts. That's the foundation of everything we do. I don't get it. Exorcist. Did he slip and fall? No, he was thrown in. Battle tutorial. Hitting all of the enemy's weak points during the combo will activate a weak point combo. It's weak against demi humans. Fire and earth. So Velvet's harsh rebuttal into Searing Edge is the tearing thorn combo will activate a weak point combo. Connecting Searing Edge, okay. So what they so what they want is Searing Edge into a uh, Tearing Thorn. Into Swallow Dance? No. Searing Edge into a Tearing Thorn followed by a harsh rebuttal. Okay. Here I come. 
We found our murderer. More fools from Hellabreeze came hunting me down, did you? It seems that way. Yeah, this is the boss. This was the mark that we were looking for. Okay. <laughs> I just guarded one of his souls away. That's pretty cool. Are you saying the whole guild was involved? Of course. <laughs> you think a second-rate sailor like me could pull off all that mischief by myself? I mean, sure, I was in on it. Helping them wasn't without its benefits. He has a point. It would take more than one person to dig that tunnel into the warehouse. Problem is, our extra-legal activities were a little too successful. The Abbey was bound to notice us at some point. And dead men tell no tales. So they blame it on you and kill you to cover it up. Looks like it's not going quite how they planned. How do you mean to get this revenge of yours? The raid on Hellebees. I'll kill the lot of them. This I swear. That would be suicide. Do you have any idea how many exorcists are around? They'll hunt me down no matter what I do. I just want the guild to pay for what they did to me. That's all I wanted. But I guess even that's not gonna work out. We'll take this back to town and tell him you're dead. That should be enough to satisfy the exorcists and get them to call off the search. But why? I have my reasons. We need a boat fixed for starters. Plus, if you stir things up after I leave, I imagine it'll slow down anyone who's following me. If that's what you want, miss, I won't let you down. Yo, she just straight up just chopped that man's tail off. It looked like Roman Reigns Superman punched the way she just like, she just cut that shit off. She just, ha, it's like, whoa, alright. You can use a Denor bottle by pressing L2 while inside a dungeon. Using a Denor bottle will teleport you directly to the dungeon's entrance. You can get them from shops or treasure chests. Hold on, before I talk to you, buddy. Time to go reap the benefits. Yeah, nigga. Yeah, yeah. I'm at 40 of those kitty souls. By the way, 
how on earth did you find out where I was hiding? Luck. And a solid hunch. The village I grew up in was the dullest, gloomiest place ever. I hated it so much I became a sailor first chance I could get. But look at me now. If I could do it all again, I wouldn't abandon my home. I see. You're taking risks and shit? Look at me. We're lucky the snow has been white for the past few years. Why is that lucky? Snow is always white. Wrong. In Helades, it isn't always. Depending on the direction of the wind and what the volcano is up to, volcanic ash can mix in with the snow and turn it gray. There's a volcano nearby? It's actually quite a ways up north, but it's the biggest volcano in all of Midgand. Mount Kilaraus, it's called. And that's where we mine our flame stone. Actually, it's the only place you can mine the stuff. Hmm. Mount Kilaraus. It's got a nice ring to it. You ever seen a volcano, Velvet? No, and I'm not interested. She's totally interested, boys. Yo, come on. There we go. This is Dial's tail. Did you... Did you really kill him? We found him dead in the Lake of Tar. This is all we could bring back. Is that so? You can doubt me all you like. But I brought you the demon's body. Who else can say that? True enough. Good. Get to work on my ship then. I'm afraid we can't. We still need Lady Teresa's permission first. I'm in a hurry. It would be much worse for you if she knew who the real smugglers were. You wouldn't! It's a trade. Repair the ship on the beach and I'll sail away quietly. <sighs> Very well. I'll find you your shipwrights. We'll see you at the shore. Hey, Velvet, this would be a perfect opportunity for us to upgrade our equipment. How about it? What are you talking about? You don't know? We didn't have anything like that in our village. All the more reason, then. Come on, let's go. Th hey, you don't need to be so pushy. That's just how I am. Get used to it. Come on. With the novice smiths, uh, Acerite? I think that's how we can pronounce that. You can now enhance and dismantle equipment at shops. Providing a piece of equipment will improve its parameters and provide a chance of activating an enhancement bonus. You can obtain the materials necessary for enhancement by dismantling equipment. Let's start by enhancing a piece of equipment. The blood blade. Wait, the fucking blood blade? This, guy, this weapon sucks! It's still, oh, it's still gonna be low tier too. Blood blade plus one. We're gonna dismantle the same blood blade. And that's how it's done. Get it? I suppose. It seems like kind of a hassle. Ah, maybe at first, sure. But once you get it down, it'll be second nature. You'll eventually learn how to maximize your personal strengths through wise upgrading and dismantling. It does seem useful. Right? If you plan to continue your crusade, upgrading may give you the edge you need. Of course, those who are inadequately prepared for battle probably won't end up on the winning side. That's certainly true enough. And hey, if it'll make me stronger, I'm sure I'll figure it out. If it'll help me take him down.
like, and this game has been on the backlog for so long, you know? It's like to finally get into it. It's awesome. Well, it looks like we'll get the repairs we need. Maybe, but that's only half of our problem. Without a proper crew, we'll wind up shipwrecked again. We don't have time to find one, and we can't hire a ship without permission. We'll just have to do what we can. But we've seen where my sailing skills get us. I'm not forcing you to come. I'll do it alone if I have to. I wonder if there are any free sailors around. Oh, that's right. These things return after a while. For the best scores. I'm surprised they haven't done like a tutorial on like EX monsters or anything like that. Nobody plays Katarina until today. Hey Velvet, do the demons you kill turn back into humans? Huh? What are you talking about? Remember the demon that attacked us near the coast? When it died, it turned back into a human. Every demon I've killed has stayed a demon. So, I was just wondering what was different. Do demons stay demons when they die? But what about Nico and the villagers I killed? Maybe it's just a case-by-case -case sort of thing. Who cares? A corpse is a corpse, whether it's human or demon. Yeah. I guess being human again doesn't help much if you're already dead. Exactly. All that matters is that the demons I devour make me stronger. Nothing more. Time to save. Yeah. Like you see like you see what I'm doing, right? Like I'm eventually gonna lab every character. And hell, with the love that I got, it's actually more motivating to get better at lab like just do labbing videos, you know? faster to build a new ship. Her keel? You could say she's like a man with a broken back. And how in blazes did you end up running aground here? I wouldn't think it possible. If you can't help, that's enough. Go back to town. What now? Do we try to find a new ship? I can't think of anything else. I just hope we have time. Oh, Imperially Nominat, hear my prayer. Blessings and honor unto thee. This frail flesh a sacrifice to be thy foundation. Sister. Oh, Oscar! What brings you here? You, your face! What happened to you? A demon got the better of me. I've been summoned back to the Abbey, but I thought I'd stop by on my way. My, my poor brother. I'm so sorry. There is pain, but I can still fight. The scar will serve to remind me of my inexperience. An underhanded foe, no doubt. No. The demon saps her enemy's strength with her left hand and turns it against them. It was a girl with black hair and eyes full of fire. She poses a threat for even a seasoned Praetor. Please, take care, dear sister. It was her! Teresa? Understood. I will. Worry not. 
A failure as minor as this is not the end of the world. To be honest, I came hoping you would cheer me up like that. Well, I do believe I recognize those earrings. Of course. I treasure them dearly. Thank you. They suit you just as well as I thought they would. I must take my leave now. Lady Teresa, we've captured a stowaway. I wasn't stowing away, you twit. I merely boarded without permission. Damn. You. You're a collaborator with that demon woman. Where is she? <gasps> Your tortures are useless against the mighty Mugilu. Because I'll spill my guts just fine without him. Oh, well, that's fucked. Great, now I have to go back to the city. Great, that's fucking wonderful. Nah, I'm gonna save there. Now it's a party. I wanna get another level before. word from the Abbey. They're holding a public execution for a witch who tried to draw demons into the city. Is that so? Sounds like a real nasty character. I'd stay away from the city if I were you. It's a common tactic for Lady Teresa. Threaten one criminal to draw out their allies. Are you saying I'm a criminal? Pot calling the kettle black, isn't it? That's why I'm warning you. Lady Teresa's top class, even among exorcist praetors. I wouldn't think badly of you if you fled. A witch. It has to be Mogilu, huh? It looks like the Abbey is on to us. We'd best assume they've already found the tunnel. No sense trying to buy a ship now. Then don't buy one. Steal it. Steal a ship from Helavis. Just the two of us. We have at least one other on our side. Dial? He said he can navigate. If he joins forces with us, all the better. That could be. But what happens to Mogilu? I suppose that's up to the Abbey. Let's head to Dial's cave. <sighs> Sorry, Magilu. Rest in peace. Man, fuck Magilu. She whoa shit, that damn thing was fast as fuck, boy. Did you see that? You'll be rushed on my head. Not even worth my time. Shadow Stepper? Nice. Well, who? Wait, who learned that art? Oh, that was him. Okay. Cool. On to Victory is ours. What? I can't climb up this? Oh, because there's a rock there. That's pretty creative on that rock there. You know what? I totally went the wrong way. So I have to go to the city, and I'd probably have to go through there.
really go all out, don't you? What do you mean? Look, you're using Dial, threatening the guild, abandoning Magiru. You see? I'm not abandoning her. She can take care of herself. Nothing stops you, does it? There's a lot I don't understand about Magiru, but I know she won't be killed so easily. Besides, I'm sure she's already told the Abbey everything she knows about us. You're probably right. That means we need an ace up our sleeve. Like a demon they believe to be dead. All right. One last good sharpening and I'll call this blade done. <sighs> Do your blades need sharpening too? I'd be happy to take care of it for you if you want. No thanks. I was taught never to leave my lifeline in the hands of another. Sure. Sounds like you found a good teacher. <sighs> I don't care if it's me who does it, as long as you're keeping them well maintained. Just in case you don't already know, after you sharpen your blades, you should rub them with clove oil and wipe them down with wool. Yeah, I know. I was taught that too. By the man who killed my brother. You know, there's this rift thing here. I totally did not touch it. Did I touch it? I don't recall touching it. But how convenient. So my man was just sitting in here. Just like, uh huh. Just they wait. doing back here things didn't work out we'll lend a hand with your raid <laughs> lovely presumptuous aren't you I'm a demon comes with the territory <laughs> you got me there ah oh, god I think that's the first time I've laughed since turning demon but are you sure it's suicide you know maybe not I have a plan the exorcists have a hostage they're using to lure me into the city hmm. then we can sneak in through the tunnel into the storehouse no. I expect they'll have an ambush ready there. So instead, we hit them with a direct frontal assault. You call that a plan? No. I call it a feint. As their forces converge on the front, a second group slips in via the tunnel, strikes the docks, and secures a ship. After that, the two groups meet up and we all sail away. And I want you at the helm. Answer me this, then. Who's making this frontal assault of yours? I will, naturally. That works? When? Tomorrow. Can we rest here until then? Make yourself at home. Nothing so comfy as a bed of tar. Velvet? Hey, Velvet? Uh, Lofty? You were crying out. Were you having a nightmare? I was. Lofty, it was terrible. Hey, come on, let go of me. I have to go. I have something important to do. What's that? Arthur told me to come meet him at the Shrine of Tranquility. <gasps> no, Lofty said, no. You were tossing and turning. I'm fine. It was just a dream. If you don't want to go with me, I understand. That wouldn't do. How can I repay you if you die? You are an odd one. Am I? I always thought of me as just me. Velvet, who's this Artorius? My target. He killed my brother. We're ready. 
Dial should be at the entrance. Let's get going then. Just fine, thanks. And your special concoction? Ready for deployment any time. By the way, I never caught your name. Velvet. We'll sail together if you live, Velvet. If not, at least I know what to put on your tombstone. You've got a sharp tongue. <laughs> I've always been that way. Right then, we're off to attack Helavis. That reminds me. Where do you think that boy who took the compass ran off to? Helavis, I'd imagine, since Malakim are always tethered to exorcists. That means we might run into him during our attack. Are you getting squeamish about killing the boy because you feel indebted to him for healing you? No. If he gets in the way, I'll take him down. But... But? I have to remember to thank him first. Right. Does that bother you at all? No, not really. I just know that Malakim don't taste very good. Malakim Sorry, Varut, no palate. can do. I'll call that a positive. I will save. It's crazy how time just flies when you're in this game. Tanya. No time for you. This thing is chasing me down. This thing is on me. All right. Hey there, how's it going? Who goes there? Oh, I'm pretty sure you were expecting me. That's a that's another pretty cool thing about this game too. Like, the game doesn't have, like, a loading sequence to start battles off with, in most cases. Like, like this was a cutscene battle. Normally, like, normally they will start, they will normally do, like, the starting animation for a fight, load the fight in, and then there we go. Here, they was just like, bitch-ass nigga, square up, and then next thing you know, I'm in a fight.
fuck off. I have nothing to do with you. I want nothing to do with you. The townspeople are gone. I was right. It's a trap. These jobber knights. Hell yeah, man. Well, I'm here. I like how they think they're people, guys. Wow! Look who actually showed up to rescue me! Oh, you're more of a softie than I ever gave you credit for, demon lady! You're here! You're the demon that escaped the island? What if I am? You hurt my dear Oscar! You will pay for that! Slowly! Deception. Come and face me, that exorcist! I am honor bound to aid you. Beware your left arm! No! I admire your endurance, but you will see you later, Jen. Thank you for swinging by, my friend. Number two. dangerous besides to dispose of demon filth we not to use an appropriate tool because you can't do it yourself well I've got tools of my own tools of flamestone sulfur and oil those will explode yeah it will I, I like how he doesn't give a shit Oh, get fucking wrecked. He got wrecked too. Fuck off, queer. We don't want you. How can she say that? I'm out. Oh wait, no, not yet. Equipment skill mastery. Look at that. F mastered some stuff. Yeah, her name is truly Teresa. Move it. We're ready to set sail. <laughs> Gang! I'm a demon. Spare me your sins. Then you can pay 
Whoa, what the hell is this? Ah! Sorry, you don't get to cast spells in my hood, homie. What you will get is a swallow dance for your problem. I like how the little kids are just out of commission for like a little bit. Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's right. You just keep your hay boner on me, Theresa. She's gonna miss the guard, me, isn't she? Oh no, alright. As exorcists pray toward Teresa, I give you this order. Do it, number two. <laughs> the kid's gonna blow himself up. <laughs> <laughs> to think you were a demon. The crybaby exorcist. I wasn't crying. What? Yes, she was. Two praetors. Not looking good. Knock them back. That's an order. Knock them back, or I'll eat you. An order? <laughs> and then we just take the kid. S tier kidnapping abilities right there. Himself must be informed. Hey, level up, and we learn new arts, and we got new titles, and he's uh, uh, mastered some skills with his abilities and his equipment, and we got new items. They have literal. They literally have no one but to blame for the town except themselves. Yeah, so it's like they cut. They caught people doing like smuggling explosives and shit. And what did they do? Oh shit! He lived. Doyle lived. Hell yeah. That turned out better than I expected. Though we wound up with a little extra. Extra. The kid. He looks like he'd be a scrumptious midday snack for you. A snack? She's just teasing. No. If that's an order, I accept it. Should we really be taking this kid along? His arts will be useful to us. And we can always get rid of him. Precisely. Malakim our tools. Use them and ditch them. Isn't that right, number two? Yes. <laughs> oh, all right, cool. Boom. I am nearing the end of the stream. I'm going to let some story roll through, then I'll call it a night. Why do we stop in the middle? We got people to talk to. See how the voyage is going. You 
you seem busy. We need more hands. We have to set our course and tie down the cargo. I've unfurled the sails. Does that not look safe to you? Sure. As long as it doesn't come loose. Our destination is Logris. Set a course. I'll do what I can, but this vessel really needs a bigger crew. We need to hire more men. Besides, if we keep sailing this way... I can't help but feel like I'm going to be building some type of army for this ship. Now that was a right old conflagration. Don't think they'll be chasing after us anytime soon. You certainly didn't leave them much of a port though. I wonder if the town will ever recover. How much did you tell them? I had just started episode two, Moggy Lou's Fury, wherein the beautiful witch is captured and tortured by a demon most cruel. I'm starting to see why they wanted to execute you. function even if the ship is rolling. Velvet! The heading's fine! Kid, what's your name? Number two. Not that. Your real name. Surely you have one. You wanna hold it? an order I'm asking you what you want so you're ordering me to answer <sighs> right right you Malakim would destroy your cells as long as it was an order you just <sighs> that is our purpose you really are tools in that case keep your mouth shut Oh no. She's just she's just watching everything go to shit. And like and then they fucked up too. It's like, alright, so now we're gonna kill you. I'm still thinking about the lizard man who got hella wrecked. No, he's fine. Oh, they fucked up. They got us on land. Huh. Well, look at that. They really are a bunch of demons. That works in our favor. No, it doesn't. You knowingly pick fights with demons? Must have a death wish. You're in trouble now that we're on land. Yeah, they fucked up hard. Wipe them out, number two. That's an order. Whoa there. We're not the one you'll be fighting. Cloud? I was wrong. It'll be me. A Moloch? No. I'm the Reaper. What is this guy? A Moloch pirate? A sword, twin blades, and a paper. No pendulum that I can see. Oh, a pendulum, I remember that. This kid, this guy actually uses pendulums. I know, I know his exact weapon. You 
passed the test. Join us. Well, aren't you the impudent one? Says the demon who torched Televis. You knew about that? I hope you realize we're doing you a favor. If you'd stayed on that course, you would have smashed right up against the gate of Vortiger. You guys are headed for Midgand, aren't you? That means you're gonna have to go through the Narrows up ahead. But the Kingdom has a massive fortress there built to defend them, with a tremendous gate. A fortress. If this is true, we're in your debt. We desire to pass through as well, but we lack the strength. I propose we form a partnership. I'd be a fool to blindly trust the words of a pirate. Do you really want to see the gate for yourself? We won't stop you. We'll even throw you a nice funeral if you like. So what? We're allowed to refuse? Your business is your business, and ours is ours. There's nothing more to say. But first mate, y you can't go alone. We'll all come with you. You'd only get in the way. Stick to the plan and focus on your duties aboard the Von Eltia. Sure, you may call him a discount, Ichi, uh, Ichijo. That makes sense, but I like the cut of his jib. And I, and I believe I unlocked that particular, I unlocked the partic that particular item that I was talking about earlier. I think. And he looks like Laffy Set. You get a rose corsage. Corsage. Everyone get you like it. That's a that's a requirement for, uh, for me. You have to have it. Twin whip. Megasonic thrust is a hidden art. I'll put swallow dance there, but then I'll end this with a megasonic thrust and see how that works out for me. Hey, we're level 10. Increases attack. You got an earth ring. 
What are you folks planning anyway? Like I said, we're getting through that gate. If you're not helping us, then the conversation's over. Is it possible to get through? The first mate says he'll do it. He'll do it. You sure put a lot of faith in him. He's a Moloch, isn't he? That doesn't matter. He's got the captain's blessing, and that's enough for us. Couldn't you ignore the Narrows and just sail around? Not now. We lost both our compass and several of our crew in an earlier attack. Compass? Huh. But in the end, we're pirates. If someone blocks our way, we can't just fall back. And that's what makes a pirate, huh? sale on an item that none of us can use. I'll buy that for the Moloch. Tragically, your favorite witch is neither a sailor nor a warrior. All she can really do is look on. No argument there. Is the Gate of Vortigern really something that impressive, Dial? They've got a fortress and a patrolling fleet, but the Gate is the real show. Even a battleship couldn't blast its way through that thing. Is there no sea route that avoids the Narrows? There is, so to speak, but it's a long way out into the open sea. <clears throat> the pirates share our goal. I don't think we have any choice but to band together. True enough. If forward lies destruction and backward lies doom, sideways is your only option. And yet you don't feel like helping out. I sure don't. That Moloch isn't all he seems. Who knows what's up his sleeves? The kid's a Moloch too. Hey boy, you sense anything? <sighs> we both have ulterior motives. In any case, Let's go after him. I know you probably won't listen to me, but you shouldn't get involved with Ifrit's pirates. Ifrit is the fiercest, most villainous pirate in all the seas. Every sailor trembles at his name. For a demon, you're pretty wimpy. Demon or not, scary is scary. So this Ifrit is that tough? You bet. Rumor has it he's an unrepentant troublemaker and is as strong as an ogre. His gang are all fearless, wild rogues. They've turned the tables on the Royal Navy time and time again. And best of all is their ship, the Von Eltia. She's a legend that's traveled to distant lands across the sea. Nice. Sounds like I'd get along with them just fine. You seem to know an awful lot about them yourself. Well, it's just that every sailor dreams of being as wild and free as Ifrit and his pirate crew. I guess. Hey, I can dream, can't I? Demon or human or even lizard, we all got our fantasies. 
This is like the most human demon in the world. That's saying something. I thought I could pick up that flower. Like, like, there's more character development in Doyle down there than that fucking witch. Earth ring. Save here. Uh, two and a half hours. I will call it a night on this stream right here. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys. Ah, uh, let's. I'll try to shoot for tomorrow night at 9 p.m. C Central Standard Time again. But yeah, this is a solid stopping point, like smack dab in between some stuff. So long, everybody.